Hi, this is Dr. Brian Walsh, member of the research and development team with ProGrade. For some reason in the nutritional industry, people really like to jump on a food or a nutrient as really good or really bad and then just leave it at that. But they really don't pay attention to how many of these things interact with one another. And it's really about the balance. So for example, we've often heard that we should be following a low sodium diet or restricting our sodium somewhat to prevent getting hypertension or high blood pressure. And yes, potassium, sodium, if in high amounts, can lead to high blood pressure in some people. But the reality is, is it's not so much high sodium, but perhaps it's low potassium. Two individuals, one with high sodium and normal potassium, the other person with normal sodium but low potassium can have the exact same impact on their physiology. So maybe it's not so much that we need to be avoiding something because it's quote unquote bad, but rather supporting balance between these two things. Another one is calcium and magnesium. You may have heard of the studies that have come out semi-recently showing that women that supplement with calcium have an increased risk for hardening of the arteries or atherosclerosis and therefore risk of stroke and heart attack. But really, is it too much calcium by itself or was it that they had too much calcium and not enough magnesium? Could it be that if they supplemented with calcium and had adequate amounts of magnesium, it wouldn't have had the same effect? Or for calcium to be utilized in the bone, you need to also have things like vitamin D and vitamin K. Studies are pretty clear that many people are deficient in vitamin D and vitamin K today as well. So did these women have too much calcium or was it they were lacking some other important nutrients? And lastly, you've probably heard that if you take one particular B vitamin more than the other ones that you can cause what's called a relative deficiency in the other B vitamins despite the fact that they're actually normal. So really this just goes back to getting back to basics, following a good, varied, whole food diet, supplementing with low potency whole food supplements and nutrients in order to try to achieve balance rather than perhaps avoiding something because it's bad or taking something because it's supposedly good. I hope you found this video helpful and I appreciate your time.